Hello there, this is Rahul and today let's talk about the Ansible handlers. Before we jump into the Ansible handlers demo, it's really important to understand what the Ansible handlers are and when should we use the Ansible handlers inside your Ansible playbook. Let's take a very hypothetical scenario that you are having a website and you need to update the content onto your website. You have an Ansible playbook, what it does, it just copies the updated HTML file onto the server so that you can update the content of your website. But there is a one strict requirement that when you update the content or when you update the HTML file onto your application server, then you need to restart the whole application server so that the updated content can reflect onto your website. So how would you automate the whole process? So the first task in this process is copy the updated HTML content onto your application server. After that, you, once you have copied all the content, you need to restart the application server. So these two tasks you need to handle and to handle these kind of a task with Ansible, you should use the Ansible handlers. All right, I will not make the things complicated. So here onto the screen, you can see the Ansible playbook for my Ansible handler. So the first task over here is to set up the Nginx application server. This is just an example. That's why I'm keeping the things simple over here. So my first task is to install the nginx server and after that i'm just gonna copy the content or the html file which i just want to update onto my application server so this is the second task which i will use to copy or to update the content on my website now you might be wondering like how should we incorporate the ansible handlers over here so here i will be using an attribute that is notify and that attribute we need to define what task it is going to do so here the task which i'm going to do is restart nginx server because i have already updated the index.html onto my application server now you have used the notify attribute inside your ansible playbook now you should define that particular task so that you can restart the nginx server and for that purpose, we are just gonna use the handler. So there is a one more attribute which you can see over here is the handler. And inside that handler, we are just gonna write the task to restart the Nginx server. All right, so now you have a little bit of understanding on what the Ansible handlers are. Let's switch over to the desktop and see the Ansible playbook in demo. Let's start with the demo and onto the screen, you can see the Ansible playbook. But let's first start with the project structure. So on the left hand side, you can see this is the Ansible handler project, which I have created. And inside that Ansible handlers project, you will find inventory and the roles directory. So let's take a look onto the inventory directory where I have defined the hosts file, where I will be storing the remote server IP address or the remote server machine name. So if you open this file, then you will find the remote machine name over here. Just ignore the line number two because I have commented out. All right, so now we have seen that we will be running the Ansible playbook onto this remote machine. This is my AWS EC2 instance, but just, just you can just replace this uh, machine name with any IP address of your remote server. All right, the next task is the roles. So here in the roles, I have created a role named handler. And whenever you create a role, then you need to define the main.yml in any Ansible playbook. So here I have created the main.yml. So here I have written the task for installing my application server, which is Nginx, which you can see over here. And here I have just written the second task to copy the index.html, the content of my website. And the third task which I have written is to update the content of my website. So here I have, here I'm just trying to copy the updated HTML to the destination directory. So this is the uh, simplest Ansible handlers playbook which I have written it over here. And in the last task, I'm just trying to call the Ansible handler so that it can restart the Nginx server. So this is an Ansible handler playbook which I'll be using for this particular demo. Now, one thing I forgot to show you is where I have written the handler. So here you just need to open the main playbook that is ansible handler playbook.yml and here I have written the handler which is restart nginx server. So here you need to put the correct name over here which is restart nginx the same name I have used inside this notify attribute which is restart nginx. So you should put the same name in the both the places. Okay, so coming back to the handler, so you need to use the attribute handler, you need to assign the name to the handler, and then you need to do, uh, define like what kind of things you want to do with your handlers. So here, I just wanted to restart the Nginx service. So the name, uh, the attribute which I'm just gonna use is the Nginx service name over here. 
and the state is restarted which means ansible is going to instruct that please restart this particular service so this is how uh, i'm just going to define or structure my ansible handlers playbook and also i'll put the github repository link of this particular repo into the description section so feel free to copy that particular repo to use this ansible handler example now we have seen the ansible handlers uh, playbook example let's try to run this particular ansible playbook and just see how the things works so just to give you a little bit brief so first it is going to install the nginx server after that it is going to copy that particular index.html and as soon as we update that particular index.html with updated content then it should restart our nginx server so that's the whole purpose of our ansible handler because we just wanted to restart something based on certain action so that action is we have updated the html content and that's for the reason we need a restart to our nginx server okay so this is my terminal and i'm just gonna run the ansible playbook command so here this is my ansible playbook command so that's the keyword that is ansible playbook after that you need to specify the name of the inventory uh, that's the inventory flag which you first need to use and after that you need to specify the host file where your host file resides and if you go back over here so here is the inventory and this is the host file where you have your remote server which i have already mentioned okay switching back to the terminal so after that you need to specify the name of the playbook so this is the name of the playbook and i can show you once again so this is my ansible handler project and this is the ansible handler playbook which i'm using right now so let's switch back to terminal and this is the command which i'll be executing to test my ansible handler so simply hit enter and if you're this is the first time you're connecting to your remote server then it is asking you to do you really want to connect so simply type yes all right so as you can see my ansible playbook had just finished so let's start each task one by one so here this is the first task update uh, uh, apt cache and install nginx so this is the first task which i have written so let me open the playbook so yeah this is the first task which i just wanted to execute and that will install the nginx so if you go to the terminal so here you can see this first task has been executed second task is to copy the index.html and remember this is the first time we are copying the index.html and we don't need to restart so that's why uh, this task will not call the ansible handler so this is the second task we just wanted to execute so just check uh, this is the index.html we just wanted to copy and this index.html is present into the same directory where i have defined the task or the main.yml all right let's go further after copying the index.html the next task is to copy the updated html to the destination directory and just take a look so this is the updated html which is present into the same directory and i'm also i just wanted to copy into the same directory where my index.html is so it will just rename this direct uh, particular file which is update.html to the index.html once it execute all right so as soon as it copies the update.html it should call the restart nginx handler so let's take a look onto the terminal so here it is copying the file first of all and after that it is calling the restart nginx handler so let's take a look onto the handler so which is present over here so this is the handler and the name of the task is restart nginx so let's take a look onto the terminal once again so here you can see it is calling the restart nginx server handler so this is how this whole ansible playbook work so where uh, you have created or we have, where you have installed the nginx server and then you have copied the index.html then you have updated the index.html and after the update you need a restart and for that purpose you have used the N uh, ansible handler so well this is just an idea which i just wanted to show you like how the ansible handlers work but this idea can be used for any other different use cases so the idea is pretty simple like whenever you want to execute something which is dependent on some other task then you should use the ansible handler so here the dependent task was to trigger the ansible handler when you updated the particular content of the file so here the content is index.html so as soon as i have updated the index.html so i need to restart the nginx server so that's the dependency i had between those tasks so you have a, if you have a similar dependency in your project then you could use the ansible handlers for your own purpose and it, the limitation of ansible handler is not up to restarting a server you can trigger the mail you can execute the patch so there are n number of possibilities which you can execute or which you can implement with the ansible handlers
I hope you liked today's session on to the Ansible handler and how to use those. In the next session, we will be taking a look on to the Ansible variables. So see you into the next session of our Ansible. Till then, take care and bye bye.